to focus on solid basics still in end game opening mode but got to have the solid basics opened up his king area there's no white bishop to actually fianchetto there that's a bit strange just sit the bishop here so he can't go and castle now so his knight is probably going to come and um, shoot yes as we said going to attack his queen then bring the bishop back here when the pawn take, um, pushes down so he's obliterating his own um, kingside area I'm going to take the queen it's my minor oversight Okay, it looks like the opponent's leaving the game. Okay, starting another one. Let's go. Ah, uh, nice touch. Yeah, let's do it this way this time. Yep. Yeah. Yes, very good, very good, very good. So we have two pieces on there. Knight can take, knight takes, but then obviously we lose the bishop. Knight's gonna have to dance all over the place now. Pawns are gonna just attack them. So we need to reposition them into end game. Look at this, he's attacking everything. Uh, yeah, let's do that. And that. So, so we're almost forcing them to do stuff. To do stuff that they don't want to do. Um, night here, obviously. Like we said, the knights are going to get chased all over. They feel powerful with these pawns coming down. Um, but no pieces are really supporting anything. We're in end game opening mode, so they're giving us they're giving us these things for free. Capture. So we have to be ready to take these free gifts. Nice diagonal onto the king. Knight is coming in. Let's touch the knight. It's got, is he going to go for the knight and bishop exchange for the rook? Probably thinking about it. He's done all that work to get to this stage. He's probably thinking about it. So we need to be ready for that and not be shocked or surprised. And he is, yep. Exactly what we were saying. But does that improve them in any way? Push on to the bishop. Maybe it's a missed opportunity. And just grab. So I think they got maybe a little bit arty there. Okay, and they've resigned. 